Gandhi. Hi, I'm Sia Miyahuji from Tokyo Institute of Technology. And today I'd like to talk about CUME, an interactive omnidirectional board display. In recent years, computer systems have been developing greatly, and the display, display the digital contents have changed from conventional 2D images to 3D graphics. Omnidirectional images and 3D visualizations are examples of the contents. Today's display to show them are 2D flat screen, VR HMD, and DOM screens, and people have been struggling to match these contents with suitable displays. An alternative choice is to the spherical display. There are several examples displaying on spherical displays. Let me show you some. These spherical displays are non-interactive display. The display in the left side is hemispherical spherical display called the World Eye, sold by Gakken. And the display in the right side is a full spherical display called the Geocosmos. This display have capability of displaying images on the surface of the sphere, but they don't have interactive input function. This research has proposed the interactive spherical displays. Benker et al. proposed the sphere, which is our interactive spherical display. A projector is under the sphere to project images on the surface of a spherical display. And also an IR camera is under the display to detect precise touch position. Ketner et al. proposed the spherical display by utilizing pro projection set outside of the display. This display uses rotation of itself as an input function where it can detect touch. Homer et al. showed an example to display a globe on the surface of a sphere. Um, all these displays are interactive, but didn't utilize the feature of a sphere so much and limited the interaction that they use. As a sphere object, we focus on the ball, which is friendly shape to human beings for hundreds of years. Ball is a familiar instrument that directly contacts with human bodies, such as fingers, hand, foot, or head, and it has been used in sports and games for many years. Ball has interesting aspects we should utilize. The first aspect is that the ball has various ways for interaction with human, such as handing, touching, rotating, throwing, and so on. The second aspect is a high endurance tool that can be thrown, kicked, or hit without being broken. We extend these characteristics of the ball with various interactive display technologies. This image on this slide is the office of the future with ball displays. This is what we think the ball display will be like. Design requirements for ball displays are these. First, to make a display spherical and to be able to take it in hand, there are many conceivable ways to implement it. For example, attachment of LEDs or LCDs projection from projector built inside the device, sphere device, or projection from external projectors. However, with the first three methods, the limit of impact resistance and the reduction in size and weight of the device becomes a problem. Therefore, in this research, we adopted, adopted our method of displaying the entire surface of a spherical device from multiple ex multiple external projectors in real time. And the second requirement is wireless and lightweight. In order to utilize the features of a ball in interaction, capabilities of being handled in user's hand and being rotated are essential. To meet these demands, this display must be lightweight, impact resistance, and wireless. So we use wireless communications to send the ball device data 
And as the body of the display, we use light ball-shaped material. Furthermore, in order to be able to perform a touch, IR camera may be used in the display. But in this system, to satisfy the light weight, we use electric, uh, electrostatic capacitance on the surface of the device. Considering the above, the goal of this research are these three. The first goal is to make portable spherical interactive display. Portable we use means to be able to hand, handle the display in hands. The second is to design and implement interactions suitable for ball displays. The third is to implement applications utilizing the ball display interactions and to show the utility of this display. First, let me explain the implementation. Based on the design requirements, following three technologies must be included in implementation. First, real-time tracking and projection using a motion capture cameras, and the second, spherical projection using multiple projectors. The last one is uh, touch and rotation detection. Let me explain these techniques one by one. First, about real-time tracking and projection. The whole system looks like this. We have constructed a projection mapping environment with multiple projectors like this. In this configuration, six motion capture cameras were installed for real-time tracking. And uh, this spray device is wrapped with retroreflective sheet to be tracked from these cameras. To achieve precise projection, we use tracking system and our prediction method. If you project any images on a Oh, sorry. If you project images onto a moving object based on the raw data, projection will be swept from the target like the video in the left. So we use prediction method for the target position and succeed in precise projection, as you can see in the video on the right. We don't have enough time to explain the method, so please refer our previous paper. To achieve this spherical projection, we put multiple projectors in the environment. Each projector is calibrated, and based on the calibration data, this system renders the res respective view for each projector. This image, sorry, this image is showed an example of sphere mapping. Different images are projected from different directions by using multiple projectors. Figure A and C are the pictures taken from the left side and the right side. Figure B is taken from the middle of the two projectors. In figure B, the projection from both sides are matched. Boundaries of projection tend to be distorted because of the shape of sphere. Um, there is a little gap between the projected images. To assure real-time projection, the system overlays images at the same position from each projector without considering the overlapping part, but the images are matched well, as you can see. Next, the device configuration is like this. Sensors in the QM, the QM device are changed as a, uh, uh, Excuse me. Sensor in the cube device are arranged as shown in this figure. This is a cross section of a cube device. In order to detect rotation and touch, this device contains a gel sensor module for posture measurement and a capacitance measurement module for touch. The sphere outer shell is made of formed rubber and the 32 aluminum plates are attached on the surface and the capacitance of each panel is measured. Each panel and the capacitance measurement module are connected by conductors. The circuit board with the sensor is fixed to the center of the sphere by a nylon string. This structure enables weight reduction and the impact resistance, and it will be not be broken even if you throw or kick it like a ball. The system configuration diagram is like this. First, 
Data from cameras and sensors are sent to the PC for rendering. For this information, this system applies the delay reduction algorithm for real-time tracking and the projection. Then these data are applied to the position and orientation of the corresponding textured ball model, and the system generates an image to be projection on the ball. Finally, those images are projected onto the device. This is the flow of the system. Next, let's move on interaction design. We implemented several interactions with based on the affordance of a ball. We conducted a preliminary experiment to see how people interact with the ball. And these four interactions were mostly observed. So we choose touch, rotation, bouncing, and throwing as inputs to the display. And assign the basic operation to the spherical interactive display for each action. Let me briefly explain this interaction. First, touch is used for selection, and the rotation is used as the rotation operation of the images displayed on the sphere surface. As the bounding can be associated with being bored with something, we attach a meaning to reset the applications. So the operation of bounce to the floor is, to, is the transition to the home screen. With throwing operation, we added an automatic rotation function and the reset function. This system calculates the direction of the ball's speed and rotate the display to the direction. So users can pass and show the images, right, Im images that they look at to another user. And when user throws the device in vertically, the direction will reset at the start point. These are the basic operations of the QM display. Next, let me show some application examples to show how a ball display can be used. First, we implemented the omnidirectional image viewer named Panaball. Spherical images can be browsed more naturally by displaying on the sphere. For example, in the conventional flat display, users drag the image to select the point of view and often fall into this order of position relationship in that kind of picture. With the proposed system, by rotating the device with their hands, they can see the image from their favorite angle. At the same time, by changing the point of view with their body moving around the sphere like this, it is easy to search and browse the position they want to see. At the spherical video chat application, we build panel chat. This application displays the live stream taken from an omnidirectional camera. One possible use scenario of this application is remote conference, in which two locations are connected through this application. Users can easily grasp the information of remote environment and the directional relationships of attendees from it. Like the conventional display, you can see and control a table data, such as a calendar in the ball display. In this application, users can the days in the week with action of rotation horizontally and change the week by rotating the display vertically. This is an example for searching the tree data in ball display. User can browse the folder by rotation and get into the direction by the change, changing the direction of rotation. This is a game application named Face Matching. We demonstrated the system at the Laval Virtual 2016. In, the in, this dem excuse me, in this demonstration, most people didn't need any explanation about control and understood intuitively that rotating the ball changed the orientation of the image. And they also moved their heads to get better observation angles. 
Of course, you can enjoy Pokemon Go by throwing the ball display like this. You can experience the fun of catching Pokemon. Okay, let me move on discussion part. In this paper, we implemented uh, the QM, which is a fully Super Girl interactive display. But the implementation uh, and setup of QM are rather complex. QM's interaction is limited by the bounds of the mocap system and the projectors. It is also difficult to use in a bright environment. The reason we choose the, this implementation is that QM's focus is on is on exploring the interactions of a ball display, which is light, durable, and fully spherical. So projection from inside the ball or flat panel displays on the surface could not meet these requirements. Occlusion of the projection image is an issue that needs to be solved. In our current setup, even if the body blocks the light from one projector, Another projector covers the occluded region. However, the occlusion problem cannot be completely solved as long as we use external projectors. Small internal projectors or flexible display may overcome the problem in the near future. And interruption of the tracking system by user's body may also be a problem. This problem can be overcome embedding IR LEDs on the surface of the device and the tracking as a digital body, and now we are working on it. Also, in the current implementation, there are problems with, with the ball device, such as shielding by aluminum panels and the low resolution of touch judgment. For these problems, we will solve them by improving the device, such as using resistance films for touch judgment. And in the current setup, we selected the four primitive interactions based on our observation of how people interact with the ball, but other interactions may be considered depends on applications. Okay, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Hey, Steve Feiner, Columbia University. Just wanted to throw out a question. Um, so you showed an interaction that involved a, a teleconferencing, video conferencing situation. And it seemed a very, very strange one. I've been in video conferences where I'm carried, for example, in someone's laptop from one room to another. That looks really weird to me and weird to other people. And now you're going to be throwing someone back and forth at least with the laptop, there's a camera in there looking out, yeah. and yet you have no camera inside of your system yeah. looking out. Yeah. So here I'm holding you in my hand, and mm -hmm. you're looking from somewhere over there, and I'm yeah. waving at you, but you're seeing me waving at a ball. And so I was just trying to think of, of you know, why did you pick that particular application? Because it seems like a very strange one. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, in, in the current setup, we, we didn't build the camera inside the ball, but we are working on built-in camera. But do you think people really want to have a teleconference with a ball that has someone inside of it, as opposed to <laughs> trying to interact with someone who might occupy a more normal relationship to them? Yes. Um, in, yes, with, with current display, current um, 2D flat display or HMD set, we, we can't see the, we can't see the environment of the speakers, mm -hmm. sur surroundings of speakers. So uh, we, we, I think it is important to know the, the, the relationships of the people. So, so, so arrangement of the people, where the people is or Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, Diego from University of Sussex. I, I really loved it. Like, it's, it's really, really nice. It, it was more a doubt, because maybe you do mention it in the paper, but I didn't get the chance to read it yet. 
uh, does it change the, the center of mass of the ball? Because if, if you want to roll it, for it to roll nicely, like the yeah. center of mass should be in the center of the sphere and all that, does it change much? Or how Sorry. does it matter? <laughs> Sorry, I can get the center of what? what? Uh, center of mass. The, the, the center of mass, once you add all your sensors inside the, the ball, maybe like the weight is to the bottom or the weight is to the top, and then you cannot roll it in, in the same way that a ball would do. Don't know, just wanted to see if that happens or doesn't happen. So, so, oh. We will have a chat after the talk. It's okay, right? It's, it's really, really nice. <laughs> okay, okay.